the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? It could be the round of the century. I was not supposed to win this. So now you guys are listening because we did win. And I can glorify God the way I want to glorify him. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, fun Sunday evening fight. Um, they put it up against the Chiefs game, which was interesting. We'll see how the pay-per-view does. Uh, but Javante Tank Davis was a 12-round uh, uh, unanimous decision uh, over Isak Cruz in a, in a fun fight where Cruz was competitive. Uh, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, find us on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Also, please subscribe to the other channel, uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Um, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. So please share, like, and subscribe to that channel as well. Um, uh, let's get into um, today's show. It was a fun little fight. Um, I, um, Cruz, uh, Cruz was competitive. He stood in there. He made Tank go back. It looked like ta- oh, what, what, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Uh, you know, Cruz uh, stayed in there. He was competitive. Um, he was able to get Tank to his body. He worked really good body shots, followed up with right hands. He did good work. He was in He was in the fight till the end. Um we're going to find out more about Tank's hand, but you did see Tank go away uh, from the left hand, his power hand. I, mean, I want to say in the, in the 12th round, when he strictly went into off the back foot and boxed, he did pretty good. He was able to keep Cruz off him. I thought he won the 12th round. Now, I'm not saying he should do that for 12 rounds. I'm not saying he should become a, 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 you know, a back foot you know, a fighter who's constantly on his bicycle. That's not what he should do. He's got incredible power. Uh, I'm just saying when he did it, he did good. Um, but all in all, a lot of people, I, I think, uh, and, and I may be wrong, are, are going to give um, Tank some, some some crap for this because they fought a guy who they never heard of. doesn't mean he's not good. Um, didn't get the knockout. Lost some rounds. It was closer than people expected. People, A lot of people thought Tank was going to blow him out. You're not going to blow everyone out. Um, this was a good competitive fight against a good fighter. Um, you know, I, I thought the fight was close. I thought Tank clearly won it. I thought 8 4 and 7 5 were the right scores. I thought the fight was right around there. So, you know, after the Barrios fight, I was concerned that, the, you know, the judges, you know, because in that fight, they somehow had Tank up in that fight, right? So Barrios was like six minutes away from being robbed. Um, but in that fight, um, they had tank up somehow and I, I was concerned about the scoring in future tank fights, but the judges did pretty good here. Uh, I thought the, the scores were right on. Um, if you ask me how I had it at eight, four, seven, five, and that's exactly how the judges had it. Um, you know, I, I Isak Cruz is a guy that has some good wins. He's got to win over, for, uh, Francisco Vargas, Diego Magdaleno, uh, and Thomas, uh, Matisse. Um, the, the Matisse card, I, I'm thinking that was a showbox card, right? Um, then he had the Diego Magdaleno win in San Antonio uh, back in 2010, um, which was um, the, uh, on the Davis Santa Cruz card. Um, and then he had the Vargas win. Um, well, I guess that was earlier this year, over the summer. That was uh, Houston. That was the uh, Charlo Montiel card. So, I mean, those are the words he's had. We've seen him before. If you guys haven't heard of him, that's kind of your fault. We, we've seen him. We've seen him on Showbox. Uh, we've seen him on, on, on Tank Davis cards and big cards in the past. Um, but I, I, I thought Tank's performance was fine. You're not going to get rid of everyone. You're not going to stop everyone. Um, I think Tank showed some things. You know, Tank throws in combination really well, okay? Now, people are going to say, oh, Gary said he throws a combination. He he throws one shot at a time. 
he doesn't throw enough combinations. But when he throws in combinations, which is not enough, he's really he throws really, really good combinations, crisp, clean power shots. I do want to see him jab more. You know, like I said, he did well with the jab in the last round. And I was thinking this early. He's got to jab more. I mean, he can get past Isaac Cruz, uh, but I, I don't know how he's going to do with the rest of the 135-pound division, which is really good. Um, I do think he would blow tank, uh, blow Devin Haney out. Um, I, the, the fight I would like to see, though, it's not going to happen. It's him versus Zepeda at 135. Uh, that would be a barn burner. I think Zepeda is better than Cruz. I think he hits harder than Cruz. Um, but, you know, th- those fights aren't going to happen. I, who's taking a fight next? I don't have a whole lot at 135. It's kind of bare. At 135 for uh for for Javante, uh, Michelle Rivera is a possibility, but I, does that move the needle for you guys? I mean, this fight's there from they can make, but the, the, any of them really, really gets you excited. Um, and, and again, you know, after the Barrios fight, um, they told Tank that um that he has to fight the PBC guys that. Uh, he's not allowed to go over in front of the other guys. Because apparently that's the new dynamic where the fighter works for the promoter. It used to be the promoter worked to make what the fighter want happen. And I guess that's not the case anymore. Um, but, again, you're going to hear a lot that this wasn't the Tank's best performance. You know, I thought it was a good, solid performance. I thought you're not going to get everyone else. I think Tank did re- things really well. You saw him backing up, working off the back foot, and, and delivering power shots off his back foot, going backwards. He wasn't just coming forward. Cruz was bringing a fight to him. You know, I, I think Cruz fought the fight he had to. I think that's the only thing Cruz could do. And he did it relatively well. It just wasn't enough. Um, but, you know, I, I think Tank showed a lot of things that were, that were really good. Um, and also, <laughs> what I wanted to point out, before the fight, Floyd Mayweather had tweeted out that um, if you're not paying for the fight on pay-per-view, you're stealing from the fighter. Okay. You're not stealing from the fighter, but what, whatever. Uh, how about you don't put Tank Davis versus Isak Cruz, which is a great Showtime fight. You know, your star against somebody, a fighter no one's really heard of, even though they should have, right? Like, that's not a pay-per-view fight. I don't know what you think this is going to sell or how often you think you can get 80 bucks from Johnny Public. But you're asking for almost 75, 80 bucks a month now. It's getting to be a bit much, right? Like, I mean, we're not golf fans, right? We're not country club people. Uh, uh, you know, we have a budget. We have a limit, right? 80 bucks a month in between Thanksgiving and Christmas, I don't think was the best bet. I think this is going to do a terrible number in in, in, in the pay-per-view sales. And if it does, then Tank, uh, Floyd and Tank have, Floyd has no one to blame but himself because he should never put this on pay-per-view. Um, I have a feeling between the guarantee that they paid Tank and everything else that Floyd coming out of pocket and take a loss on this one. A financial loss on this one. Uh, but it, it was a good fight. It was a good card. You know, it, it was a really good card. I just think that, like, uh, enough's enough. I mean, if they charge you $80 to watch football every Sunday, like, that, you know, it gets to be a bit much. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. i uh, find uh, 3 Boxing on all forms of social media. Um, follow me on Texas Boxing Scene as well. Subscribe to that channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. It is December 5th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get him in. Um, From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.